Hi kids, I'm Frank Lesniak, and I'm here to tell you a story about my friend, Captain Kuby. Let's get started. One day, my daughter Zoe came to me and she said, Daddy, what is that owl doing on your shelf in your office? What does it have to do with your work? I said in my short sleeved dress shirt, which I would never wear, well, Zoe, that's Captain Kuby. Sit down and I will tell you a story about him. The Illustrated Children's Guide to Kubernetes. Once upon a time, there was an app named Fippy, and she looked just like your little giraffe there. She was a simple app written in PHP, and she had only one page. She lived on a hosting provider, and she shared her environment with scary other apps that she did not know and with whom she did not care to associate. She wished that she had an environment of her own, just her and a web server that she could call home. An app has an environment that it relies upon to run. For a PHP app like Fippy, that environment might include a web server, a read-only file system, and the PHP engine itself. One day, a kindly whale came along. He suggested that little Fippy might be happier living in a container, and so she moved. The container was nice, but... It was a little bit like having a fancy living room floating in the middle of an ocean. A container provides an isolated place for an app like Fippy to live, together with its environment. However, isolated containers often need to be managed and connected to the external world. Shared file systems, networking, scheduling, load balancing, and distribution are all challenges. The whale shrugged its flippers. Sorry, kid, he said, and disappeared beneath the ocean's surface. But before Fippy could even begin to despair, a captain appeared on the horizon, piloting a gigantic ship. The ship was made of dozens of rafts, all lashed together. But from the outside, it looked like one huge boat. Kubernetes is the Greek word for a ship's captain. Led by Google, the Kubernetes project focuses on building a robust platform for running thousands of containers in production. As the boat bumped up against Fippy's container, Fippy introduced herself. Hi, I'm Fippy, said the little app. Nice to make your acquaintance, said the captain as he slapped a name tag on Fippy. An awkward way to greet someone for the first time. Kubernetes uses labels as name tags to identify things. Labels can be whatever you would like. You can use them to indicate the role of a container, its criticality, or other essential attributes. Captain Kuby suggested that the little app might like to move her container to a pod on board his ship. Fippy happily agreed, and the Captain Kuby helped her move her container aboard. For the first time in a long time, Fippy felt at home. A pod represents a runnable unit of work. Usually a pod only runs a single container, but for cases where a few containers work better together when right next to each other, you may opt to run more than one container inside of the same pod. Kubernetes takes on the work of connecting your pod to the network and the rest of the Kubernetes environment. Similarly, Captain Kuby helped Fippy move her container onto his ship and ensured that she had access to a porthole to see outside. Fippy was bored and had unusual interests, such as genetics and sheep. She asked Captain Kuby, do you have any ideas about how I might clone myself on demand any number of times? After checking international laws governing this sort of thing, the captain said, that's easy, and he introduced her to replica sets. 
Replica sets provide a method for managing an arbitrary number of pods. A replica set contains a pod template, which Kubernetes can replicate any number of times. Through the replica set, Kubernetes takes care of your pod's lifecycle. That means that if you need more than one FIPI, or one FIPI awake at any time while others are napping, or if you need to keep an eye on your FIPIs, replica sets can do this for you. For many days and nights, the little app was happy with her pod and her replicas. But only having yourself to keep you company is not ideal, even if there are three copies of yourself. Captain Kuby smiled kindly and said, I have just the thing. No sooner had he spoken than a tunnel opened between Fippy's room and the rest of the ship. With a hearty laugh, Captain Kuby said, even when your clones come and go, this tunnel will stay here so that you can discover other pods and they can discover you. A service tells the rest of the Kubernetes environment, including other pods and replica sets, what services your application provides. It's like Fippy and her replicas having a sign on their door that read, cute PHP app. While pods come and go, the service's IP addresses and ports remain the same. Other applications can find your service through Kubernetes service discovery. Fippy began to explore the rest of the ship. It was not long before Fippy met Goldie and they became the best of friends. One day, Goldie did something extraordinary. She gave Fippy a present. Fippy took one look and the saddest of sad tears escaped her eye. Why are you so sad? asked Goldie. I love the present, but I have nowhere to put it, sniffed Fippy. But Goldie knew what to do. Why not put it in a volume? A volume represents a location where containers can access and store information. A volume appears to the app as part of the local file system. Volumes may be backed by local storage, Ceph, Gluster, Cloud Block Storage, or several other storage backends. Fippy's volume is a treasure chest kept in her room on Captain Kuby's ship. Fippy loved life aboard Captain Kuby's ship, and she enjoyed the company of her new friends. Every replicated pot of Goldie was equally delightful. But as she thought back to her days on the scary hosting provider, she began to wonder if perhaps she could have a little privacy. It sounds like you need a namespace, said Captain Kuby. A namespace is a grouping mechanism inside of Kubernetes. Services, pods, replica sets, and volumes can easily cooperate within a namespace. And the namespace provides a degree of isolation from other parts of the cluster. Inside her namespace, Fippy can relax and take a hot shower. Life was good aboard Captain Kuby's boat. Together with her new friends, Fippy sailed the seas. She had many grand adventures, but most importantly, Fippy had found her home. And so Fippy lived happily ever after. And that's the end of our story. Thanks very much for watching. And for more Fippy, please visit fippy.io. Thanks again for watching.